what we've got is three options, right? Three choices. You can do the recycling project, which, which we talked about. You could do the art display, or you could do the butterfly garden. There's a special visitor in Miss McCoy's second grade class at Willow Grove Elementary School in Poway. This is a hard choice because these are three good options, and this is oftentimes what happens when you vote. City Councilman Mark Kersey is there teaching the students about voting. So we're going to vote just like your parents do, and Gina, is, Ms. Mrs. Jacobs, is passing around the ballots. The students get to vote on what project to build. Some have grimmer reasoning than others. What about Grant? What do you think? You'll just be keeping the butterflies in a cramped space, and soon enough, the plants will die, then the butterflies will die, uh -huh. and you just have a dead garden in the middle of your school. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the students wait anxiously as the ballots are counted. The cycling's got a commanding lead, I think. <laughs> Yes. Recycling ends up the winner, leaving butterfly supporters licking their wounds. Dad, don't like wine. That's right. Because it's just like a game. That's right. There's no crying in democracy. I like that. Ainsley, what do you think? Kersey says just like the butterfly fans, he hasn't always gotten his way on the city council. For example, when he opposed raising the minimum wage. And certainly the, the minimum wage issue, I think I took, I don't know, five or six votes on that and uh, it came up short every time. but. Yeah, that's how the process works, and it's, uh, it's okay. Just like we told the kids, just because you vote for the, the one that doesn't win doesn't mean you're wrong, doesn't mean it's bad. It's just uh, other people wanted the other one. Kersey was first introduced to politics in high school when his stepfather was elected mayor of their small town near Columbus, Ohio. So it was, you know, one of these things where everybody knows everybody, and I think at that level it's more like running for high school student council than anything. It's just a popularity contest. Nice to see you. Good to see you too. Hey, welcome. Almost 14 years ago, he moved to San Diego for a job, then two years later started his own telecom consulting firm. During his first term, Kersey shepherded through council an open data ordinance, which will put more public data from city departments online. Open data is really something that gives a lot more tools to average citizens, to, to small businesses, to be able to access their government and to really understand, uh, you know, different data points about what's going on in the community. Seven inches uh, severity, so under anything. Now, Kersey is turning his focus to the funding gap for fixing the city's roads, sidewalks, and other infrastructure. So, for a, a period of time, and a number of years, the city essentially stopped investing in infrastructure, and we just weren't doing basic things like maintenance and repair of all the things that we own. And as a result, we've gotten to the point where. Uh, you know, it's just like if you don't change the oil in your car for years and years, well, eventually your car is just going to be shot, right? And you're not going to be able to just catch up and suddenly start making all your oil changes. Well, now you either need a new engine or potentially need a brand new car. He's head of the council's infrastructure committee. Uh, very happy to see these sidewalk assessments finally getting underway. And is working on a ballot measure that would raise more money for repairs. It's got to solve the actual problem. And it's got to be something that people are actually going to want to support. And so what we're going to do is, is spend the balance of this year is figuring out what is the right kind of bucket of things that we could put together that is going to accomplish those two goals. Any closing thoughts before we wrap up? Back in Miss McCoy's classroom, the yeah. debate over butterflies and recycling is finished. And Kersey is fielding other questions about his work. Brad, one more thought? No? You're going to pass? Okay. How hard is your job? Well, I mean, we have to make tough decisions just like this, right? So that, that can be kind of difficult. But some people actually work really hard for a living, right? Like people digging ditches or, you know, have to spend all day out in the sunshine getting all hot and sweaty. Or, you know, people who have to, you know, fix toilets for a living, let's say, for example, right? I mean, doesn't fixing toilets sound like an actual hard job? Yeah. Yeah, right? Would you want to do that? No. Not really? So yes, my job, making these choices can be tough, but there are plenty of people who have much tougher jobs than me. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.